guys it's Lee your independent sensei consultant welcome back to my channel and to this sale haul unboxing so this is just one of two boxes the other box is like twice the size of this so there was such a debacle over the recent flash sale so I placed four orders two on the 17th and no three on the 17th one on the 18th the one on the no anyway I can't remember I, I placed two orders and the second and third one came within literally a few days and then the final one came here while I was away on holidays <clears throat> and then the first order I placed also turned up literally the day before I came back from Ibiza so that's down there I will do the two in one just because they're here and it's out of the way then. So the first, or the first one I'm opening, shall we say. Um, <clears throat> so everything is in that one. <clears throat> one of the issues that we had was that some of the items were oversold. So they didn't have the stock to fulfill the orders, which apparently is what caused a lot of the delays. I mean, it was pretty much five weeks. Um, yeah, it was about four weeks until this one was delivered and then it was five weeks until I think the main one was delivered, which wasn't ideal, but I was on holidays, so it wasn't really the end of the world for me. But I know, <coughs> but I know that one item I ordered, they'd oversold which was a tub of washer whiffs and they are they have refunded them and they are replacing them with another one and I know that a lot of stuff that was oversold they have refunded and replaced with an alternative product of Sensi's choosing which is fine I mean if you're having it for nothing you can't really complain too much so first up I have a bottle of red pear and pomegranate washing up liquid and a bottle of winterberry tea washing up liquid doesn't actually give the scent notes for these but that's that no but that's okay um so two bottles of washing up liquid then we have some car bars they are two in snowberry and two in apple and cinnamon sticks. We then have two bars of Jack's Obsession Wax and I do have the labels here to stick on the ones that are mine. So Jack's Obsession, maybe, if I can find it, but, so, wrong way, Jack's Obsession is Eureka, this cauldron full of apple spiced with clove and cinnamon makes for a ghoulishly grand brew. <clears throat> so, this one was originally in my Scentic Club a long time ago, I took it out, it's one that I think will come back time and time again potentially because it's really popular so it's not one that I'm putting in my club I will take the risk but I know there are some more of these in the other order I did then have two bars of Halloween Town three thumbs up which is hitch a ride through creaky corridors filled with eerie allspice, haunting pumpkin and ghostly cinnamon, all summoning the spirit of sparkling ginger. And for me, this is quite a really nice, um, almost pumpkin bakery type scent. Really, really like that. <coughs> Did put it in my scent originally, then took it out because I thought it might be one that comes back and then when it was in the flash sale I thought you know I'll just stock up and if it doesn't well it doesn't 
Then I also picked up two bars of Halloween Town, which has two different labels. Uh, yeah, Jack's Obsession was the same one. So this is Everybody Scream for Sinister Potion, Cranberry Apple and Spiced Cedarwood concocted in the dead of night. And for me, this actually smells a bit like a, like a Christmas cake. Yeah, to me it's got like fruit cake, Christmas cake vibes. Really, really like this one. And this one has been out previously. So I do think that's one that will be a regular returner. Then picked up three fragrance flowers this time around in Mighty Pine. And Mighty Pine is a really nice pine scent. So I haven't tried it in the fragrance flowers, but they were so cheap it, it was like a no-brainer. So I picked up three of those as well. So I will just pause this video now while I pop this to the side and open the other box and I will be back in a moment. So this is definitely the biggest haul um, by far. Even though the box isn't that big, there is actually a, a lot of stuff in here, including some fragrance flowers and loads of other stuff. Oh, that's new. So, never had one of these before. Love in a box. And then the Warm the Heart, Enliven the Senses and Inspire the Soul card. <coughs> Probably because there was so much in here, maybe. <coughs> I mean, this box is obscene. And this one wasn't all for me. A lot of it was for me, not all of it, thankfully. Because... <coughs> Excuse me, I've had this cough since I came back from Ibiza and it's not Covid because I've tested a few times. I think it was just all the germ infested kids on the plane. So, a few car bars which I'll go through. Um, actually, I'll just do it from here. So, picked up two bottles of Dancing Sugar Plums body wash haven't tried this. It's cinnamon, apple, spiced plum and vanilla. So they will go away ready for Christmas. Then there are three mulled cider and spice. Actually, I think they might all be. Yes, so there's six mulled cider and spice fragrance flowers in the Dahlia Darling design. So these, these aren't all mine, honestly, these aren't. Um, <clears throat> then I will go through the car bars and then just destroy the place. Then I will hit the wax bars. So don't actually know what's here together. There's Three polar bear hug car bars. And there's three very blessed car bars. I'm just throwing these all back in the box. Loose, and I will sort them out later. Then we have. Uh, three cozy cardigans. Another apple and cinnamon sticks. Two Christmas cottage. A twilight frost. Actually there's some more in here as well. <coughs> so there is, or are, two more Christmas cottage. Two more twilight frost. Two more apple and cinnamon sticks and three more snowberry so I did pick a lot of these are mine because they're great for gifts um, so 
to know it onto the box of back. This, so this is the fun bit. <coughs> yeah, so as I was saying, the car bars are great just as little gifts, thank yous, and things like that. And obviously, to make the car smell good. Now we have the good stuff. Ooh. So I picked up a pack of the Arctic Kiss pods. Love the Arctic Kiss wax. It was one of my first two wax bars that I ever had. Um, so I picked those up to try. Then I picked up. We have. Me. four bars of Haunted Mansion, have a bar of Iced Citrus which I may or may not have the, I will, I'll pop the scent description below for that one. Yep. That's my time to say that my lunch break is almost up, so I need to get a move on. So then there's another two bars of Jack's Obsession. Picked up two bars of Up, Air of Adventure. Picked up two, three, oh, there's another Haunted Mansion. Then we've got three, five bars of the Disney Villains Dark and Devious, which is an absolute fantastic fragrance. It's dark and rich, and I think Dark and Devious describes it quite well. It's there's black pepper and a whole host of other stuff, which is really good. <clears throat> then this one I've never had because it was released before I was a consultant, and yeah, it's Mulan's Not Your Average Dragon. and Or, oh, Not Your Everyday Dragon, sorry. And the scent description is to feed your guardian spirit with sweet papaya nectar, juicy mango, and a delicate touch of red ginger flower. So I'm looking forward to try <coughs> trying this one because it is a completely new one. Ooh. Yeah, that's fruity. That's nice. It's fruity, but there is a slight hint of spice to it. I now wish, I now wish I picked up a few more, but not knowing what to expect, I was like, well, I'll get three. Hmm, I really like that. Then stocked up on some cars, radiated strings. So there's five, oops, not right, five bars of those. Another bar of Villains Dark and Devious, a bar of Joy and Wonder, a bar of Disney Muppets, and then finally, last but not least, we have three bars of Disney's Aladdin Three Wishes. Three Wishes. This one was in my Scented Club, I took it out. Um, not sure if I regret it. Um, because I did have the opportunity to grab some in sale. And yes, that's that's it. My lunch break is up. I've tried to keep this as quick as possible. I did have all the scent descriptions, but um, yeah, it, I needed to keep this video short. One, because I'm on my lunch break, and two, not to bore you all. But if you do want to know what any of them smell like, leave a comment in the comments box below and I will happily give you the scent description. Oh, that is so good. So thank you for joining me today and until next time take care, stay safe and happy warming. See you soon. Mm -hmm.